What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. I don't know about you, but I love watching haul videos. They're one of my favorite kinds of videos to watch on YouTube, and that's what I have for you guys today. Recently, I came back from my overseas holiday. I did a fair bit of shopping. I've already filmed a beauty haul. In this haul, I'm gonna be showing you my accessories, shoes, bags, and some jewelry. I did buy a lot of clothing as well, but I think that has to be filmed in a separate video, otherwise we'll be here all night. Let me show you, first of all, what I bought when I I was in LA. I did find the shopping quite expensive in LA, so I didn't buy as much as I thought I was going to. Santa Monica, where we were staying, I went into the coach store and picked up this beautiful wallet. I really love it. I've always wanted this style. Cross grain leather is so durable. It doesn't mark or stain easily. I guess it would even be waterproof. It's just very simple in its design, just to zip all around. Plenty of room for cards. There's a few different compartments. There's a compartment for your notes, a little coin zip compartment for your coins. I've admired this style for so long. I don't have anything like this. All my wallets have been very bohemian and tan and neutral. This is just very classic and timeless and black. So totally opposite of what I already have. I think it's the perfect size. I like the way it fits in my hand. I'm very attracted to the gold hardware. It's very simple. I just find it very aesthetically pleasing. And although Coach is a luxury brand, I consider it sort of entry level. It is quite affordable if you compare it to Gucci, YSL, Chanel, Fendi, Prada and so on. This is quite affordable. It is a quintessential American brand. That's what I love about it. I really love the aesthetic. I love that it's an all-American brand. If you're ever in LA, you have to visit Robertson Boulevard. It has beautiful shops, a wonderful vibe, great cafes. It's just an awesome place to visit. In the Splendid store, they were having a sale on Gorgiana jewellery. She does very beautiful dainty pieces. They were up to 70% off and so I picked up about five different pieces of jewellery. One of the pieces I purchased was this necklace. It's on a silk cord string. It's black onyx and gold beads and it has this Gold needle detail, Gorgiana jewelry is very dainty and made from high quality materials. They don't tarnish, they last a very long time. I have a lot of other pieces by her as well. And the great thing about this necklace is that it's adjustable. So you can wear it long like this. It's very bohemian, it has a 70s vibe, but then if you adjust the cord, you can wear just the beading at the front and have the needle detail hanging behind you around your neck or back can be worn in very many different ways, which is what I love about it. Very unusual. I picked up another necklace. This one's a lot more dainty. It's also gold. The only detail are these three little gold balls. Three is my number. It's the day I was born. I am Greek. Greeks are very big on the number three. Everything comes in threes. Everything is done in threes, especially in our Greek churches. This is also adjustable, so if you like it more choker style, you can tighten it around your neck or leave it longer, depending on what you're wearing, I guess. I saw this bracelet and thought it was just so pretty. The beads, the color of them, the soft pink, it's so subtle, soft and neutral and almost pastel and exactly the kind of pink that I love. This simple gold bar which curves slightly and sits on your wrist nicely and takes up most of the room on the front of your wrist is just a beautiful detail. I love gold, also adjustable in very good quality cord material. And I also picked up a couple of pairs of little studs. They're precious gemstones. One's onyx, one's labradorite. They're both gold plated, just very simple and sweet. I love neutrals, so that's why I got the labradorite color, which is like a khaki olive color. And then I got the black pair because I thought it would pair back nicely with my bangle that has the black enamel bar across it. On Melrose in LA, there was a designer store that was closing down and they had everything in their dress reduced and I happened to find a gorgeous pair of high top trainers by Philippi Modal. They're silver metallic in a vintage kind of leather, high top sneakers, trainers. They were drastically reduced. I picked these up for about 110 American, if I remember correctly, and I think they retailed for almost $500. I always wanted a pair of high top trainers like this, but never thought they really suited my legs. I just had this idea in my head, this vision of a shirt dress 
these kind of trainers. I did end up finding a cute little shirt dress in Hawaii and picked that up and I have worn them together. I'm really glad that I found these. I think they are very beautiful, unusual. You can see the quality in them. They're very distressed. I'm sure I'll get a lot of wear out of them. And that's pretty much all I picked up from LA. The rest of my purchases were from Maui and Honolulu. In Maui, I went to the outlet. I picked up a couple of trainers from the Adidas store. The first pair of these black pair, they're cloud foam, so memory foam, which makes them extremely comfortable. Great for walking, which is the only type of exercise I do. I like the white soles and lavender bottoms, and they're just very plain. I didn't have a pair of Adidas trainers. I've always bought Nike. Adidas are great too. I have to say they're very very comfortable they look pretty stylish too and the other pair I got was this lavender pair they're also cloud foam so memory foam great for walking I thought these were a little bit more stylish I really love the color the almost nude lavender color and the white trimming stripes on the side and the soles and again they're just so comfortable I think in the summertime when you're bearing your legs a nude colored trainer is a lot more flattering than black so that's why people these up I think they're gorgeous and again they're so comfortable it's like walking on clouds these Ray-Bans I picked up from the Solist store they were full price but he gave me a little bit of a discount they're Evolve rounds they have a pink tint they're gorgeous I really love these Ray-Bans they are just so comfortable I think they suit my face they're called Evolve because the lens actually changes shade whether you're in or out the shade changes color so even though I'm indoors everything still looks very light and almost no difference as to wearing no glasses in the coach store I picked up quite a few things little mini crossbody I thought was just so adorable in this navy color gold hardware white trimming you can also wear it in a belt bag kind of fashion you know like a fanny pack Although it's small, it surprisingly fits a lot. It fit my phone, a coin purse, a lipstick, and a key. It is very versatile. I love tiny little purses like this. Navy and white is just so nautical and Parisian. I absolutely fell in love with it. I picked up this little coin purse. There's enough room in here for some money, credit cards, not much else though, but I thought it matched perfectly with the little mini crossbody. It fits perfectly inside and good to go. This mini coin purse is a miniature version of my wallet, my coach wallet. So when I saw it in the outlet, I had to buy it. I thought they make a cute little couple. There's also a lot of room in here for some change, notes, credit cards, just the bare necessities. I was on a hunt for a backpack for the longest time. I wanted it to be in white or stone, leather, and just not too much going on. It had to be timeless. So when I saw this backpack in Coach, I just absolutely fell in love with it. It has the best of both worlds. It has leather on the pockets, on the flap, and then it has their signature Coach canvas everywhere else. The straps are leather, the hardware is gold, it's simple, it's classic, it fits a lot, it's the perfect size. I just absolutely love this backpack. These front pockets are pretty cool to keep your keys or a lipstick. And when you open the drawstring inside, it's quite roomy. There's a slot for your phone and a couple of smaller ones as well. I'm so glad I found this backpack. Everything in that Coach outlet store was so inexpensive. It was at least 70% off and everything was a steal. That's why I managed to get so many things from there. And the last thing I got from the Coach outlet store was this scarf. It's silk, it's a skinny scarf and I've always loved the skinny scarves. I think they're very chic and I love stars. I love the blue and white. On one side it has the stars and on the other it has the coach signature emblem. I absolutely loved it. I think it really classes up an outfit, especially if you tie it sort of flight attendant style. I love that look. Moving on to my purchases in Hawaii, from the Free People store at the International Marketplace, I picked up these Birkenstocks in this gorgeous red color. They're slightly metallic. They are gorgeous. I think they are called the Mayari sandal with the white soles. I just think they're adorable. Birkenstocks are just so versatile. They keep your feet fresh and cool and comfortable. They're durable. You can wear them for hours. Travelers all over the world wear these. I actually think this Mayari 
Ari design is quite stylish. I really do. I think they're quirky and fun. I love the pop of red. I just love these Birkenstocks. I was in Ross Dress for Less and I saw this little makeup bag in this gorgeous turquoise colour, which is what I'm all about. It just says, just a girl who loves makeup. And it's got gold hardware and it's just so perfect in size for your handbag. I absolutely loved it when I saw it. I thought it was adorable. It was only $5. It's by the brand Tartan and & Twine and they do a lot of makeup bags and accessories that are beautiful in their design and color palettes. They're just gorgeous and really, really well made too. In the jewelry section in Nordstrom Rack in Waikiki, I found some beautiful jewelry that was up to 70% off. I couldn't believe the prices I was paying for some of this jewelry. This bangle cuff bracelet is by House of Harlow. Her jewelry is all very good quality also. The gorgeous emerald stone and the craftsmanship of the gold around the stone is what I loved. Thought it would work very well with the other gold bangles that I always have on my hand. I just think this bracelet is so unusual and stunning. Very 70s glam, boho glam. It's just what I'm all about. I love that aesthetic. I think Nicole Richie does a fantastic job with her jewelry collection. This was over a hundred dollars and I got it for about nine American dollars which is ridiculous. These earrings are also by House of Harlow with this white leather in the middle and triangle design also. I do love triangles. I think it's that three coming into play again. And the little gold fringing detail on the bottom is just adorable. Also the stud part that goes into the ear is a triangle as well. I just love these earrings. I think they're gorgeous. They were over a hundred dollars and I only paid 10 American dollars for these. Nicole Richie's vibe, this whole glamour gypsy vibe from the 70s is just everything I love love her collection it's been around for a long time and it may not be as on trend as it was when it first came out I really love her aesthetic her pieces to me are just gorgeous this is the last House of Harlow piece that I found. A beautiful long gold dainty necklace. The pendant shaped like a hexagon with a navy blue stone inside. The gold beautiful beading again. Very subtle diamante. I think it's just a gorgeous necklace. Same bohemian vibe. That gypsy glamorous look that she's all about. I got this necklace for $6. Again it was over $100 and I picked it up for $6. I picked up these hoops from Nordstrom Rack as well. They were $15. I'm not sure how much they retailed for at full price, but I absolutely love the color of the stones. This rosy gold colored stone with the gold of the hoops, I think were just beautiful. And they're so dainty and sparkly in the most subtle way. I just couldn't resist them. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. Would pair back with a lot of the neutrals in my wardrobe. This necklace is another piece from Gorgiana. I think it's gorgeous. It's long you can layer it up I love the little gold ball detail again I'm very drawn to that look gold plated it feels very weighty very good quality very shiny just a beautiful gold simple long necklace I don't think this was more than ten dollars and it was over a hundred dollars this Kate Spade necklace I got for around twenty five dollars maybe twenty dollars I can't remember I absolutely fell in love with it when I saw it it is just stunning dainty gold necklace with a gold bar in turquoise, my favorite stone. It's adjustable so you can wear it lower or choker style. So well crafted, it's just beautiful. I absolutely love it. It was well over $100, $20 is an absolute steal for a Kate Spade piece of jewelry. And lastly, I found this very dainty, very stunning mixed metals, little cuff type bracelet, $200 and I picked it up for $10. It is stunning. It's got little gold balls again, gold, silver, and rose gold. It's just very intricate, the design. It has sparkle, but not too much. It's very dainty, which I love. It's very unusual again. Although it's very slim and very delicate, I think it really makes a statement on the wrist. I think it's very pretty, and I couldn't pass this up for $10, especially considering it was $200 at full price. That's all I have to show you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next one.